Everybody, young and old, loves a chocolate chip cookie. And now we've made it really easy for you with this Ina Palman chocolate chip cookie pack. And they really are delicious. And I'm going to show you now how to make them. And this is what they look like once they've been done. Now before you start baking, the most important thing to do is to turn on the oven. And the oven temperature is 180 degrees. And then the next thing to remember is when you're baking biscuits, the shelf should be two slots above the middle shelf. So that is where you must put your shelf and then you're ready to proceed. Then the next thing that is very important is to line a baking tray. And what we have here is baking paper. And what you should do is make sure that the line paper is underneath because sometimes it comes off on the, on the cookie. So make sure and then you've got that all ready. Right, now we're ready to start. You need 125 grams of butter, which is at room temperature, and it mustn't be oily. It must be soft that you can put your finger in like that, but it mustn't be oily. And the egg should be at room temperature, but if you've forgotten to take it out the fridge, it really doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is cream this, cream the butter, and then we add the egg. When you're using eggs, we always use extra large eggs for baking. Now once you've beaten the egg in, it will have that slightly curdled look. Now don't panic, that's absolutely fine, it's quite normal. And then we open the pack with the dry mix. And inside the dry mix, we have the chocolate chip. Please cut it open and add to the dry mix. And what you're also going to do with this dry mix is just take out a tablespoonful, just a, a small tablespoonful, and put it on a saucer like that, and we're going to keep it for later. I'll show you what we'll do with it. Then we add the dry mix all at once. Right, now using a spatula, we're getting, going to mix this dry mixture in here and keep turning the bowl and it makes it easier when you can see it's nearly all in you can scrape your, your um, spatula clean and then just very lightly using your hand you bring the mixture together right now we've got this all together but don't handle the dough too much and this is actually a lovely thing for the children to do. They like getting their hands messy. But there are two ways to form these biscuits. There's a more formal way which you can do, where you just take it and roll it into a ball, like that. And I prefer the more funky way, where we use two, two teaspoons, and you just lay them out on the tray like that. Let me put it in the front here. And this really is so nice and easy, this recipe. And children love making biscuits. Right, now that we've formed the cookies, what we're going to do with this heaped teaspoon of dry mixture is just to dip a fork in it and then squash flat. You press down quite firmly onto the cookie and you're squashing it down and then it'll just spread nicely and this is what gives us it form. And by sticking the fork into this mixture, it doesn't stick into the dough. Some variations with these cookies is you can add a cherry to the top before you bake it or a pecan nut. And what is also very nice is to add half a cup of sprinkle nuts to the mixture or half a cup of coconut. That is also very good. And another idea is once they have been baked and, what, and they're cooled, you dip them into melted chocolate, and that is delicious. I'm now going to bake these at 180 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes, and when they come out of the oven, it's best that you allow them to cool on the tray. They will be soft, don't be alarmed by that, and then they, they firm up. And then once it's out the oven and cooled down completely, you store it in an airtight container. And they should keep for a week or two, but I can promise you they won't. They'll be gobbled up before then.